for our airplane, I'm taking a 260, flat it leaving about a 5 inch tail on the end. And this one needs to be soft, so give it a squeeze. Start by making about an inch and a half bubble. Then we're going to make a little small, about a half inch bubble. Make that into a pinch twist. Make one more, about the same size. Make that into a pinch twist as well. And then position them on opposite, opposite sides. Now we're going to make our wings. You're going to make about a three inch bubble. Fold it over. Make another three inch bubble. That'll be our first wing. Spin it around once or twice and then I'll take the remaining part and I'll wrap it once around those ear twists completely around to lock it in place. Just like that. And now I need another wing. It needs to be about the same size, so about a three inch bubble. And if you want, you can take and lay it over and measure to make sure that you're getting them about the same size. Then another three inch bubble. And then I'm just going to take this one and wrap it completely around and come back out the back. So we've got our two wings there. What's left over is going to be the tail and I'll give it a squeeze so it goes mostly out to the end. And you'll make about a two and a half inch bubble. Then I'll make a little small bubble. Make that into a pinch twist. Now the two back fins or wings make about a two and a half inch bubble into a fold twist. Go around that ear twist to lock it. Make another one. There we go. About the same size. Let's spin that. And then I'll take this last little piece that I've left and I'll wrap it around the other tail part to secure it. Now you take and put your ear twist on the bottom, opposite of this last piece you have. That makes your vertical stabilizer on your tail. And there you have a little simple airplane.